Okay, we just broke into a house that we got a contract on. This is a house in Chandler. Um, it's Kobe. Kobe's learning about real estate. Uh, this is a pretty sweet house. Um, something happened with the guy where he actually had a lien on the property because uh, he owned a bunch of businesses and his partner was being a crook. So um, this has actually been in foreclosure for like three years. We signed it under, we put it under contract and we think that the lien has actually been lifted by the Arizona Corporate Commission. So what we're doing is just basically evaluating the property and, um, you know, looking through it. This is not a lot of work, actually. Like, this house is a, a really good house because of the neighborhood. Um, it has high ceilings if, that you can see. Um, and then it also has, like, uh, you know, really high ceilings up here. And then plus, like, if you look around, the kitchen is small. But um, you can actually knock out that window and make it, like, a nice little kitchen. You know what I'm saying? And then have, like, a, a big living room. So this is actually a really good house if we can get it for what we think um, we're going to get it for. The guy doesn't want anything. He doesn't want anything to do, deal with, uh, to do with it. Um, I offered the guy $5,000 in his pocket. Um, but, again, like, he he is actually an entrepreneur himself so um he doesn't really care like if if it comes down to like he doesn't get anything he still doesn't give a shit so um you know i would definitely if i can make it work still make money on this property um but if 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 i can't make you know money if it you know what i mean like he would take no money for it so people aren't necessarily motivated by they're losing their home. Sometimes they just want to get the shit uh, off of their, you know, out of their hair. Like, they don't want to deal with it. The dude literally just doesn't want to deal with it anymore. I knocked this house two years ago, and we thought he was actually in jail. But I guess the so now that we've done more information and we actually tracked the guy down and spoke with him, um, it was his partner that was doing all the, like, dirty shit to his business and that's why they were uh foreclosing on the property like they were putting a lien on the property like you couldn't do anything with the property you couldn't sell it this con this property has actually been under contract and listed by realtors and things like that um but nobody could really do anything with it because um they had like a two million dollar lien on it and the, the guy thinks he only owes like maybe 150,000. so the arv on this property might be worth like you know 225 in this neighborhood and if you look at the neighborhood great neighborhood it's chandler arizona everybody wants to live here like you know great school district so on and so forth really nice houses um and again it's just a a, a vacant house in a great neighborhood that doesn't need a lot of work so he just really wants to get rid of it so again uh, this is Nate Ness Education. Uh, we're out knocking on doors and looking at properties, and we got something under contract. I got it under contract yesterday. Um, all right.